It's post time for the third and final Hamiltonian elimination. Three-year-old trotting colts all lined up in behind the gate and they're moving toward the start. And they're off. Experience victory for the inside. Cigar Bar right alongside him. Those two trotting out. A Mirai can on the inside third. Banker Hall has come out racing in fourth. And Cobol caught a bit wide early. He's fifth from the far outside. Mr. Commissioner is sixth on the inside. Followed up by Norvalis Hanover. Fishing Clinic grabs the cover flow. And Danish Delight is ninth and last in the early stages. Cigar Bar leads it. But in a matter of strides, it's Banker Hall who brushes past. And Banker Hall now grabs the front. Opening quarter in 28 and 2. Cobol is parked and pressing for Pierce. He's up now into third position. Just two and a half lengths from the lead. Experience victory is gapped ever so slightly from fourth. Amer I can following him fifth. Mr. Commissioner six. Cobol has jumped it off. Cobol has gone on a break. Fishing Clinic is now seventh. Norvalis Hanover is eighth to his inside. And Danish Delight the trailer as Banker Hall continues to set the tempo here. A comfortable length and a half in front. Cigar Bar now moves a little closer from second as they reach the half in 56 seconds flat. Lachance has experienced victory out and underway. He's first over on the outside third. American is fourth. Mr. Commissioner poised in a perfect striking spot. He's second over getting carried into the action there. And with three eights to go, it's Banker Hall is now two lengths in front. Experience victory on the outside second. Mr. Commissioner is right on his helmet. Cigar Bar is under urging toward the inside. American needs some room. Mr. Commissioner now flips out three deep at the top of the stretch. Three quarters in 125 and one. And it's Banker Hall with little more than an eighth of a mile to come. Mr. Commissioner trying to surge up to him on the outside. Cigar Bar is racing in third. Mr. Commissioner switches to a pace once again. And Banker Hall leads. Said. Cigar Bar pops out of the pocket. He's coming quickly for Linstead on the outside. Cigar Bar charges to the front. American closing. Cigar Bar has won it. Tight for second between Banker Hall and American. Norvalis Hanover fourth and one, 54 and four. Cigar Bar, three year old Lindy Lane Colt out of Martine Lobel by Joie de Vie, owned by the Arden Homestead Stable of the Gary family and Thomas Burtmark. New York and Sweden, Jan Johnson trains, and Bert Lindstedt, who celebrated his 65th birthday just a week ago in the sulky behind Cigar Bar. Cigar Bar certainly peaking at the right time. That's three in a row for him, and this mile a career best of 154 and four-fifths. So certainly the Swedish influence has been felt in the Hamiltonian eliminations this afternoon. Cigar Bar winning this one in 154 and four, and the results are official. Now the fastest fourth place or the uh, fourth place finisher with the highest earnings among the three Hamiltonian eliminations is back in the fourth race, Laredo Cosmos, who will earn a spot in the Hamiltonian final. He was the fourth place finisher among the three fourth place finishers with the highest career earnings. Number three, Cigar Bar pays twenty dollars and eighty cents, five even, and three sixty. Second, number seven, Banker Hall, 260, 260. And third, number one, Amer I Can, 460 to show. Exact combination, three and seven pays 6140. The 371 try, $448.40. Well, momentarily, we'll head down to the winner's circle for more from the winning connection standing by, Bob Hayden. Well, that's three wins in a row for Cigar Bar, three in a row for Sweden. Did you ever think Jan Janssen, the trainer here of Cigar Bar, that we see a Swedish sweep here in three Hamiltonian eliminations? No, I never thought about that. Tell us, a little bit about, tell us a little bit about Cigar Bar. He's only got six starts career coming in. Tell us why so few starts. Last year he was a big horse, and he, never got, he didn't get going until late last year, and, uh, and he made a couple of breaks all in this year here, so he never got off track for a while there, but he's a, he's a good horse. Pointing him uh, towards this race, the last three starts, he's now three in a row. How, how important is it timing when it comes to a level, this level of competition? It is, it's very big. You know, it's, you've got to try to time it right so, they don't, uh, so they're not uh, tired, you know. You try to have them fresh. 
I noticed he was gapping a little bit there in the final turn. Did you notice that? And if so, do we, do we know what the reason for that was? A little bit. But I think he, Banker Hall picked up a little speed there and tried to get away from them. But he's a big horse. You know, he needs, you know, he needs a, little, you know, a few yards to get going. But when he gets striding, you know, he, and he got a great head on him. 13 years ago, you went into the Hamiltonian with Armbro Goals, the horse to beat. Now you have two in. Tell us how you feel going into this year's Hamiltonian. You got three. You got three. You got three in. That's even better. Yeah. No, you got it. The post position is most important. Okay, Jan Janssen, Cigar Bar has made it in the third and final Hamiltonian elimination. Good luck to Jan Janssen and Burnt Lindstedt next week's final.